Hi family, how are you? Um, you all are seeing someone who just woke up just a little while ago, okay? But anyways, I just want to talk to you all about magic, black magic, hoodoo. Hoodoo, let's talk. Hmm. Hoodoo is one of the most... It can it, it it can be one of the most dangerous. Do you understand what I'm saying? For the victim. Okay. Now, in other cultures, I'm sure they have a different name for it, but you know, at the end of the day, they're just about all of the same. We just got different names that we coin them with. When you go in some cultures, they may call it black magic or some other names. Let's not get any of those confused. Black magic, hoodoo, I don't know any other names to call it. African American folk magic, folk magic. They have so many different names here in America for it. Don't get that confused with voodoo, santeria, or obia. Don't get them confused with those. Because voodoo is an official religion. Okay? They're not to be confused with black magic. A lot of people will tend to think that voodoo is black magic and it's, you know, devil worshiping and it's not. Because voodoo is an organized religion and uh, they are very careful and, you know, the, the, the participants or the believers in voodoo will call you a devil worshiper. They believe in Jesus. Because voodoo simply means God. Some people say it means spirits. Okay, so let's separate voodoo, santeria, and obia from black magic. Let's, let's separate them. They're not the same. Black magicians work. Okay, now I want to talk about voodoo. Because hoodoo can be a whole lot more dangerous, to tell you the God's honest truth, than black magic. I mean, I found that to be. Because, you know, this is not an example. I'm just, I just want to talk about it. You know, down here in the South, you know, which many people are, are actually participating in hoodoo at this point now. Because... Many people who actually, you know, practice it are hidden. That's what's so dangerous about it. They're hidden. They're hiding. They don't show their faces. They don't show their hands in the work. They're at church. In the congregation. In the choirs. They're in the pulpits. You understand? When then you walk up to them, they look like church goers. Straighten hair. Beautiful dresses and big hats. Looks like, you know, they can be your granny. Look like they can be your auntie, your sister, just as sweet as they can be. Cook some of the best uh, oatmeal cookies with the raisins in them real sweet and good. Okay? That's what I'm trying to show you. They look so trustworthy that you'll sit at the table with them and have dinner with them. And then you wonder why. You got the juju on you. <laughs> Hello? They don't just look like 
people that you you're frightened of in other words when you see me it's a dead giveaway here i am everybody say oh that's the voodoo lady oh she's the voodoo lady she's the juju lady i get that a lot of the times a lot of people just look at me real strange trying to figure out what's going on what, 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 what is what is what is this What's going on here? And I want to tell y'all about an experience I had in Selma. Anyways. It's a very dangerous art. Because the people who participate in it. It's quick to let your guard down to them. Because they're so sweet. And behind the scene, they're conniving. You can sit down to one of their tables and wind up with a snake in your stomach, a gopher rat gnawing and eating away at your intestines, bugs in your ears, behind your eardrums. You understand what I'm saying? It's a very dangerous art. Because now we don't really believe in the supernatural anymore. Which supernatural is so real. That once again we go around and we let our guards down. We have no protection up. We go and sit down and eat at anybody's table. Most of us. Anybody's restaurant. That's why you got so many sick Americans. You can't go to the doctor, find out what's wrong with your head. When you're dealing with the supernatural, they can't find out what's wrong with you. You got juju. You've been hoodooed. You've been hexed. You've been fixed. I like that comment. One of the um, uh, um, one of the witches said uh, they fixed her real good. I like that comment because <clears throat> it's so many different types of hoodoo spells out there. You come from somewhere else. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. A lot of folks come to the south from somewhere else. They're not even from here, and they don't know how to properly protect themselves. From who, hoodoo, and juju. They come to this place just wide open, ready for it. Oh, I'm in the south. Do you know what you've gotten yourself into? Because most of us walk around mindful of the different superstitions that we were taught as children. You don't go and sit at anybody's table. You don't go and piss no anybody off from the South. You just don't do it because they're going to do something to you. And a lot of people in the South are practicing hoodoo and, and really don't even, when they practice that shit, they don't know what they're doing. They don't, they, it's just something that was taught to them. They're just practicing it. In other words, or in other words, it's like innate. This is what mama said do when you got this problem, when you got that problem. They just don't call it that. It's a tradition embedded in the folk of the South. Hoodoo is practiced by many races in the South. They say it's a mixture of everything in the South. Different cultures just putting everything together to make a big old pot of soup or gumbo, as I always say. Native American cultures, magic. African practices. Caucasians practices. Just all of that in one big pot. And just about everybody down here in the South, they practicing it. Some of them would practice it all in the name of Jesus. 
I had one um, um, lady, you know, me and her used to be friends. We're no longer friends anymore. So if you're watching it, we're not friends anymore, okay? I want you to know that. She would say, Lord, you know, she. I'm not going to even say what she did because she, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. But she'll say, Lord, don't let that car run. Lord, make somebody get sick in that family. Lord, make them sick in the family in the name of Jesus. That's who do for you. That's what it is. Call on Jesus. Call on God to do wicked things to people, evil things. I don't like to use the word wicked because to me, wicked just means direct, frank, absolute. You understand? That's what that means. Wickedness. I would say evil and deviance. God, please make it where she lose everything she got. In the name of Jesus, take the food off of her table. Don't let nobody in there eat. Lord, take her husband from her. In the name of Jesus, take her children from her. Lord, take his wife away from him so I can have it. And I'm just trying to show you. You understand? How can I do? Who do is? I call on the devil. See, that's what they say here. Put the devil in their home and don't let him come out. In the name of, of Satan. In the name of, of the devil. Lucifer. That's who do magic. That's why I say it's so dangerous because... You know, black magic is very straightforward. It's one of the most safest ones. Because you know when you're dealing with black magicians, when you see them, they dress to garb. You understand? You know when you're dealing with people who practice in black magic, you can see them a mile away. You understand? Black magic takes a toll on your appearance when you practice it. And black magic is not safe magic. It takes a toll on you. It, it has you aching. It has you hurting. When you send that shit out, it grays you fast. And it, and, and it, you're going to look like what you're practicing. Even hoodoo in a sense. But then hoodoo, hoodoo when, when it comes to hoodoo, you can dress yourself up. But you put your makeup on, your eyelashes on. You can just plain old beat up your face and have your hair all pretty and stuff. And ah. But see, I know your spirit. I see it. I can go up in the church and I can read every spirit up in there and I know what I'm, I know what's going on. See, anyways, I'm banned at the church. I can't go in the church. Nobody invites me to the church anymore. <laughs> I remember the last church I went to, oh my God. See, we can say God. We read the Bible too. But they said witches have a hard time reading the Bible if you turn it upside down. Certain ways they can get us. Yep, I know areas I can't step in, rooms I can't go in, buildings I can't go in because they set up traps. Yeah, it's true, y'all. And I get nervous and on edge. I can tell when somebody done planted something in my yard because it, it makes me feel real leery and I'm a, I am feel fear and afraid. Yeah, that's a witch for you. I can't even go to the churches no more because they got shit set up in the damn church. To ward off witches. When I come in the church, they know I'm a witch. I went, excuse me, y'all, I'm stuffy. I went to this church, and um, the last time I went to the church was like 2008. No, 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 2009 or 10. And I actually put the footage on here, on on the other channel. I think I may have taken it down, but. When I went in there, the pastor just couldn't take his eyes off me. Because he knew what I would. He couldn't take his um, eyes off of me. And um, he didn't want to shake my hand. It was a strange experience. And ever since then, I really hadn't gone in there. It's hard for me to wear a church dress because they don't look right on me. I look awkward in a church dress and I would definitely look awkward with a big hat on so 
it's really easy to spot witches. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we really get a very unfair shake. We really do. You see what I'm saying? Because it's so obvious that the real witches are noticeable. I'm not talking about the real hoodooists or whatever. Because they, they can disguise themselves. You know what I'm saying? Even though I practice, I'm a witch of hoodoo. But the fact is, I'm a witch. See, most people who practice hoodoo magic are not witches. They're just in the practice. They know how to do it. And it don't take a, a gift or a talent to do hoodoo. Anybody can do hoodoo. But not anybody can be a witch. You get what I'm saying? Because being a witch, you're gifted. And I already talked about what we're gifted with. Well, most of us, you know, we're healers. Let's, you know, I don't even want to go through it. We're black, we're black magicians. You understand what I'm saying? We do both. I can heal you. Then I can turn around and kill you. Both. Can't you tell? Can't you see? All I have to do is command. I look at people having to do all of these different rituals. No, I do not do rituals. I have surpassed doing rituals. I do have to sacrifice. I just sacrificed a baby goat. But I want you to know that when I sacrifice that baby goat... I don't just, you know what I'm saying? I eat it. I consume the flesh. And you got some people got a problem with that, but I just don't understand how you can have a problem with me consuming an animal that I sacrificed and then turn around and go to Burger King, McDonald's, or go to the grocery store and buy ground beef, goat meat, chicken. Didn't that have to be sacrificed too? The difference is, is I, I sacrificed my own. I can't do too many more sacrifices. I'm running out of, uh, of, of, of chickens. <laughs> but anyways, I'm definitely, you know, incorporating more chickens. What's wrong with me eating my own chicken at me? Is it against the law? It's crazy how people will get upset with you and then turn around and make a turkey sandwich. Come on, guys. Let's, let's, let's stop this. Let's quit it. We got to stop being self-righteous and judgmental. We need to stop it. Black magic definitely age you quickly. Not just the black magic, but wisdom itself. It shows. It shows in your appearance. How you make your judgments. How you think. How you live. Everything shows when you're practicing wisdom. When you see a woman that's graying, when you see a woman that's wrinkling, that's wisdom. That's a good thing. It just depends on where your mind is. If you're a vain person, then of course that's not going to look good to you. So many women spend so much money dyeing their hair so much money with the eyelashes and the nails and the everything they can come up with to stay young you can go and look at you know tv and you see so many people in california and florida just having all of the butt lifts and all of the bust lifts whatever you want to call them you know what i'm saying breast augmentations and plastic surgeries and this done and that done and this done and try not to have that gift that was that is going to be passed to them the gift of wisdom i celebrate wisdom you when you see me somebody said oh she's aged drastically that's wisdom for you honey how am I going to sit up here and look 16 years old and be able to give you the wisdom? It's not going to look right. I am 49 years old. I am 49. Shouldn't I look it? This is 49 years of experience and wisdom. You're being promoted. Okay? I am being promoted. This is the promotion right here in life. I'm an elder. 
that I, even though I know there are some people older than I am, but this is my this is my promotion. Okay? This is authority. That's once upon a time what it was when the elders spoke, everybody trembled. And listen, now we're living in a society now where the supernatural is being ignored. That's why you got so many sick people running to the doctors and they can't come up with no ideas. So they make a pill for it. So many different mental illnesses out there. Okay? And guess what? They're going to make a pill for it. It's just everything going on out there. And, it, it, you know, the mentally ill are just not necessarily people with the gift that have lost it and now they're in an institution. Mental illnesses can be caused because people can put the, put, the, put the work on you. They can fix you. They can, like I said, they can do the juju on you. They can run you crazy. Bad shit crazy. A lot of men get it. Because women will fix up these men because they want them to act right and love just them. And the men can wind up in mental institutions. It's a lot of men in the mental institution. A lot of women in there because men fixing women. So that is, that's not necessarily no gift, okay? When you got folks sitting up there uh, losing their mind and acting crazy. You know, they can give you something to eat that can drive run you crazy. I know of a situation that I worked on where somebody was bad shit crazy because they had done ate something they had no business. Okay. I talked about that and I have some other things to talk about. I want to talk about the rifle man that was in my yard. Looked like it was like, ooh, it was it was spooky looking. 17, 1800s. I'm going to let y'all tell me what your time period y'all think it was. We collided. The two of us. Mm -hmm. I could see him. But he couldn't see me. Okay? Be back in a little bit.